Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing layers upon layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. That is correct. I have a specific idea for the drawing I want to do today. And to get it to turn out the way I want it to turn out, what I need to do essentially is to draw my characters over and over and over again and just continue layering them over each other to get the desired effect I want. That is pretty much what I'm going to be doing today in my Soho Urban Artist Sketchbook and with my Uniboss Signo UM153 pen. But I do think without further ado, it is now time for me to flip my sketchbook around and it is now time for me to go ahead and find a page that is completely blank. And there we go. I've now found a page, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go ahead and get that crease just a little bit just so it actually stays put, you know what I'm saying? Just so, that, just so it actually stays put. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right to drawing. So I am just basically going to be drawing a bunch of my characters in today's video. I'm going to be drawing a bunch of really tall monsters. Uh, first off, I'm just going to go ahead and just do a normal layer of just tall monsters and everything like that kind of thing. And then after I do that first layer of tall monsters, I am then going to do another layer and another layer and maybe another layer after that. Although I'm kind of thinking I won't need more than three layers. I think I can get the desired effect I want with just three layers. But I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and just draw one layer of monsters first. I'm just going to take my cap off and just go ahead and get right to it, you know what I'm saying? So let's just go ahead and do a circle right here. Let's go and do a circle right here. And let's go and do a circle right here, and that should be all good. Uh, let's go ahead and just do all of the legs now and the arms as well. Just like that. And then after I'm done doing the arms and legs, I'm going to go ahead and go back through and add all of the necessary details to these characters right here. Whoopsies, I made that arm a little bit too long, but that's okay. Alrighty, so there we go. I'm going to go and add the hands and the feet now. First off, the hands, though. Not too worried about being neat in today's video. I just kind of want to be quick kind of thing, because if I'm not quick, it's going to take forever to get my idea done. So I am just being a little bit quick and sloppy in today's video. I don't really mind, though, in all honesty. Now let's go ahead and do the face for each and every single one of these monsters right here. I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes first. And now the mouth. Hopefully it's okay being like that kind of thing. I think it should be fine. And there we go. I'm pretty much just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to go for any unnecessary details or anything like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the second layer of characters, of monsters, and start layering over this layer right here. And that is pretty much the plan. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a circle right here. I'm going to go and do a circle right here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do a circle right here. And then now I'm going to go ahead and just start working on the legs and the arms and all of that stuff. And I should have done this side first, but that's okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes and mouth and everything else once again. So I'm just going to go ahead and do eyes right there. And now for the mouth. And now I'm going to go ahead and do the nose. And now the eyes. Just like that. And there we go. Alrighty, it's starting to kind of take 
uh, the look that I want. I think definitely one more layer, maybe two more layers, but hopefully one more layer is good enough. Uh, before I go ahead and start on the next layer, though, I am indeed going to take a sip of some of the tap water I have in this water bottle right here. There we go, there we go. And now let's go ahead and do another layer, you know what I'm saying? Let's go and do another layer. Is this all dry? I think that's all dry, so I'm all good to put my hand on it. Let's go and do one of my characters right here. Let's go and do one right here. Let's do one right here. And let's go for one right here, I think. And I am kind of having to start to keep an eye on where the lines are, so I actually make sure that I actually do the feet and the arms correctly, just simply because there's so many lines on the page now. So I was doing the feet and the arms independently, or not the feet and the arms independently, the feet and the, the legs and the feet and the arms and the uh, hands independently, uh, but I think I'm just going to start doing them right after I do the character now, just simply because the page has so much going on in it now. I don't want to lose track of one of the arms or anything like that kind of thing. I'm just gonna put my hand right there and I'm gonna go ahead and just continue working my way down. But there's just so much going on that I need to make sure I keep track of everything. So I'm gonna make sure I don't lose track. And now let's go ahead and add the eyes and uh, the mouth, you know what I'm saying? And there we go. Do I want to do another layer? I'm really, really, really happy with how this is turning out. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, this is pretty much turning out exactly how I wanted it to. I think I might want to do just one more layer, in all honesty. I think I might just want to do one more layer. It's getting really, really, really cluttered. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's kind of coming off now, like sensory overload. Like, you're trying to look at it, and you're trying to figure out, like, where all of the lines are going and everything like that kind of thing. And that is exactly the look I want from it. I'm just gonna stand up real quick. You know, I'm thinking... I'm thinking one more layer in all honesty. I'm thinking one more layer. I am very happy with how this is turning out. Though. I really, really, really do like it. It's such an interesting style. And I got, um, I, I kind of had this idea come about when I was looking at some album art uh, for uh, some music I've been listening to recently. I was listening to, I want to say it was like some break core or something like that kind of thing. I, I don't know the exact genre name. All I know is I really enjoy listening to it. It's like sensory overload. And that's very much how the album cover for the music in specific I was looking at uh, was as well. It was very much just stuff layered over and over and over and over. Now, in that case, the stuff that was layered over and over and over and over uh, was a bunch of, like, anime characters and stuff like that kind of thing. Um, but I figured it would be an interesting look with my style of characters as well. And I really do think it is a more interesting look than not. And I definitely am pretty happy with how this is turning out, I ain't gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do one right here i think i'm going to do one right here and i think i'm going to do one right here and i think i want to do another one right here there we go i think that should be good i right, bet And yeah, I'm definitely starting to lose track of where the lines are going, so I'm just going to start being a little bit more careful now and just try to make sure I know where all the lines are going and everything like that. And I'm definitely making sure that I keep everything. I'm just doing everything I need to do right after I do it because otherwise I'm going to lose where the lines are because there's just so much stuff going on. It's really hard to keep track of where it's going right now.
And there we go. Alrighty though. I'm gonna go ahead and do the faces once again. So I, 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 I. Another, I've almost forgot about this one. And right here, and let's go and do mouths. Just like that. Let's go and do the noses now. And then just the eyes like that. And there we go. I think that is pretty much all done. I think that's pretty much all done. I am kind of tempted to add one more in all honesty. I think one more right here would look pretty interesting. So I think I'm going to actually add just one more right here and just go and have that come down. There we go. I kind of messed that up. I did that by accident, but it's okay. It definitely still looks better than not. There we go. I think this is all done. Well, this is the drawing where I, well, drew layers and layers upon layers upon layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. Do I like how this turned out? I am honestly really, really, really happy uh, with how this turned out. I really like it in all honesty. I think it's a very, very, very interesting look. And I definitely think it's a much more uh, unique look than not. Uh, I think I'm going to do stuff similar to this in the future, a lot in the future, in all honesty. I really love how this look looks. I love how it's kind of a sensory overload, in all honesty. And that's just a style that I really like. I really like the whole sensory overload kind of thing. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I really like, like, really simplistic stuff where there's a lot of blank space on the page and everything like that. But I also love stuff where just everything is filled up kind of thing. There's no space left to really do anything. And while, yeah, sure, there's space left to do stuff at like the top and the sides and stuff like that kind of thing, everything else is kind of filled up. There's so much going on. Like if you try to really track like the lines going from the characters, it's really hard to kind of thing. You really can't track it very easily. And that is something I really like the look of. I love the look of just having layers over layers over layers over layers over layers. And I think this turned out fantastic. I really do think this turned out fantastic. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this drawing. If you guys have any constructive criticism for the drawing, make sure to let me know in the comments down below as well. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I am really happy with how this turned out. I really am just so happy with how this drawing right here turned out. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. I do hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I, well, drew a piece of art with layers upon layers upon layers upon layers upon layers upon layers over each other. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure uh, to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But, you know, thank you very much for watching. Y'all, to the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.